Uh, what is going on guys? Um, I'm just making a quick random video. I don't know actually if it's going to be any quick, but I actually just found this um, retention pond just here on the side of the road. I was just driving around uh, getting some stuff done and I saw like off the actual main road. Um, there's no actual like street. You just kind of have to hop a curb to get in here. So I thought it would be, it'd be pretty cool because I'd assume that nobody really comes here. And I mean, it, it might be private for all I know. So if I get kicked out, you know, I'm just going to leave. Uh, there's a little fish in here. I highly doubt that there'd be anything big because it's maybe a foot or a foot and a half at the deepest is my guess. Because right here, like the middle area that I'm seeing is probably not even a full foot. So I'm actually going to see if I can catch any of those little ones because I, I always carry some rods around and actually this video is probably going to be mostly about this little rod. This is actually a really cheap rod. Um, I don't know, I guess it depends how you define cheap, but I want to say it was like $24, 20 or $24 or something like that. I got it like two, three weeks ago. As you can see, it is, well, let me do this. Uh, zoom here it is an ugly stick um and it's the avengers version and it's actually it's actually a kitty rod so it's like i got it from walmart it's one of those that you'd find at the section where they have like the princess rods and whatnot and the only reason i got it is because it's an ugly stick so it's really flexible um and i keep seeing like some water movement too over there like you see where all those ripples are at like something decent might be around here who knows but anyway i'm using this because obviously it's a small pond um if i have any chance of getting anything it's going to be probably with this rod because i have a have it set up with a it's like a little tadpole artificial uh, lure um, and I have just a what like any hook really just rigged in there it's not a special hook it's kind of got like a bend to the to the eye right here and then I put a really tiny the smallest worm weight I had on it because I didn't think it would cast well without it and I've used it before I've got a couple bites, I never got anything with it though. So, I already had it set up. Might as well try it out and see if something gets it. Um, since I'm assuming nobody's ever really fished this or often, I'm hoping that they'll bite it. But I have used this rod before. Um, I've caught like, I wanna say one fish. I haven't had it for long, so I haven't used it much. But um, hopefully we can catch some stuff today so I could show you guys and so you guys could see how good this really is. Um, this should not be confused by the way with the, um, with the, I wanna say it's called the dock runner rod. Um, my friend has that rod and that one has four eyelets on it. Um, if, that, if that's even what they're called. Um, these, um, the guides, it has four of them. This one only has three and these are like metal the other ones, uh, they're like nylon or whatever, like uh, plastic uh, bushings on them. But the downfall of this is this really crappy reel. It feels like absolute garbage. Like if you just see this, like just, just that much play is just not good. And the drag, it's, it's the worst. Like it basically, it doesn't click into place really. Um, so it's either too loose or too tight, but I mean, it works. It's just, I'm gonna, I really like the rod so far. I'm probably just gonna upgrade the reel in the future. Um, but it comes with the line that's already on it. I believe it's six pound line. So I'm just gonna hold it with one finger and just like cast it with one hand. From experience, this actually casts really far for what it is. So I don't know if you can see that because I'm filming with one hand. I don't have like a, really like a proper filming setup or anything like that so it's 
So if anything happens to, uh, I think I got snagged already. If anything happens to bite it, I might end up dropping the camera. Yeah, I got snagged already. If you could see, um, you probably can't see it in the video. The whole bottom of this pond is like 100% grass. It's just like grass everywhere and weeds and stuff okay i think i got it unstuck um but it's just really really grassy um so because this uh tadpole is not like weedless or anything the way i have it because i want them to get hooked easily i'm probably going to be struggling uh with all this grass so actually let me um let me move this way let's see if there's a better spot to cast i'm also a little scared because uh there's like a bunch of trees and stuff and like tall grass around here and i feel like there might be a snake somewhere or something uh, there's still a lot of grass here, but I'm gonna cast here because this looks a little deeper and um, it should be pretty good. Okay, so let's see if I can get something here. So I'm just kind of doing like a slow retreat, really. There is some wind today, so there's a so I, I can see the tadpole actually kind of getting pushed and I think it's because the wind's pushing on my line. I have high hopes for this. The recording makes it actually way harder, but I do have high hopes for this and to actually catch something here. about it actually that there's also um <clears throat> and there's also a lake right behind me so this is just a little retention pond but there's a lake behind me and i see a whole lot of grass so i don't know if somebody's made a way there before i'll have to see if there's like a spot where i could fish that lake with my bigger rods but i wanted to try this one because i really want to test out this little rod and i think this is what it would excel at the best come on I'll throw a couple casts. I'm not gonna bore you guys with just like straight up footage. Um, if I do catch anything, I will record again because it, it is a little difficult. So it, it would be nice to, you know, show it as I catch it, but I'll see what I can do. All right, boys, so we caught our first fish already. It was it's literally been like, I don't know, maybe one minute, two minutes max since I, uh, I paused the video. Um, to let you guys know that I was gonna um, concentrate without having to record also and it is a it's a little bass it's a small largemouth bass and it's really really nice it, I mean it looks like really healthy let me pull the hook out actually let me show you guys how the hook looks in there Like it barely grabbed them like right on the edge of the lip. And then here's the, the tadpole just so you guys can see that that little tadpole. I'm having some zoom problems here. But that little tadpole definitely does some work. So let me take the hook out here. It's okay. So I got it out. There's the bass. Um, hold on. There he is in all its glory. Really nice looking, uh, pretty healthy. Uh, I'm guessing that these bass, 
I mean, I'm guessing obviously there's more. Um, are the ones that are making the like a lot of jumping sounds over there? I don't know if you guys just heard that. They're like jumping along the all that grass in the middle. So I'm gonna let them go real quick here. Hopefully, I can get a good release on them. He's gone. I accidentally stopped the video. I was saying uh, I want to actually catch like a bluegill or shellcracker, but I feel like this tadpole might be a little bit too big. And honestly, I probably don't even need the warm weight because it's such a small pond. I can just cast it, but I'm too lazy. I'm gonna leave it like that. So let's cast it out again, right over there. Okay. Trying over here. I mean, I feel like the fish here would actually be pretty hungry. I would not be surprised if I like, you know, just so happened to catch the same exact one out here. But let's keep going. Wow, that casted far. I mean, honestly, this thing, I'm very impressed with the way it casts. Um, obviously with a little weight, you know, I have a weight on it. And I don't know how heavy it is. I got something, I got something. Oh no, I think I let it go. Oh my gosh, I had something. <laughs> it's probably another little bass. Um, I didn't set the hook properly. But um, I'm also trying to do it with one hand, so there's that. I'm seeing something move over there. I don't think you guys can really see what I'm seeing here. But uh, yeah, there's definitely a little fish in here. Um, this is my first, like, real catch and release, uh, fishing that I'm doing on purpose. Because I usually only release them if they're, like, too small or, you know. But, like I said, I, I do catch to, to eat my fish. Um. But right now, obviously, it's a small pond. I didn't plan on catching anything big enough anyway. But it is fun. still creeped out like I gotta watch my back over here because I heard like it sounded like a dog growling or something so I'm a little sketched out but because that's what you got to deal with when you're alone oh yeah I kind of get sidetracked you guys will learn that very quickly as I talk but I was saying about the casting on this thing because this video wasn't really the purpose wasn't really to like do a review on this rod or anything but I think I might as well because I had looked it up and i saw a lot of stuff about the dock runner i didn't see anything about this like hitty rod avengers rod which is honestly i think is the same exact rod for the most part maybe it's a little thinner but obviously the guides it only has three but if i could bring a little bit of awareness to how great of like a oh, i got snagged how great of a rod this is for like maybe like a quick portable rod or like an ultralight setup um you know anything useful like that or even if you're just like you know fishing for like small fish like this um even if you're doing it on purpose to like you know eat some bluegill or something like that but yeah this rod will cast uh, i don't even want to say a guess because it wouldn't be a very good guess because I'm not very good with distance but I want to say like almost 60 feet and that's that might be a little bit exaggerated but I used it on, a, on my John boat and right now I'm not I'm not even trying to cast far and it goes farther than I'm actually aiming for so it's definitely great and if you know about ugly sticks you'll know that these rods are like pretty much nearly indestructible they'll literally like you could i would totally trust this to catch like a a three pound bass um easily anything over that i feel like it's not the right equipment but 
Do I think it'll catch it? Effectively, yes. It just be um, it just it feel a little bit sketchy for sure. Oh, uh, all right, boys. I got a uh, bath number two on the little kitty Avengers rod, ugly stick. And here he is. This one's actually a bit bigger. He actually had a pretty nice uh, fight for you know <laughs> for for what it was. Um, so let me grab him. Okay. So there he is. He completely like, let me see where the hook is at. The hook is right there. So he like totally took that little uh, tadpole and he's really nice. Like, would it be safe to assume that if there's, you know, small bass like this, this very small looking pond here, um, that their parents are a bit bigger? Like decent because I mean these are very very healthy looking bass it's like really dark green um, so let me get this hook out real quick okay I got it out see I just saw like a jump right there where you see those ripples in the middle of the screen I just saw it jump and I don't, I don't have no idea what it was but I'm assuming it's these bass that are just like on a bit of a feeding frenzy over here with the little fish but I mean, this one's kind of got a little belly to him. Uh, let me do another release here. There's just a lot of grass here, but um, so here he is. Go on, go on, go on. Alrighty. That one's gone. That one actually pulled pretty good. I'm surprised he actually ate it that fast because I was thinking of waiting a little bit to set the hook. And I just set it and he was just... I had to pull him like over all this grass right here and cast it right there. All right, here's number three. Um, pulled another one out of the weeds. This one's probably about the same size as the last one, I want to say. Uh, I almost want to say it's a little bit bigger. But look how he took that right on the bottom. Um, I want to say it's almost the same size as the last one. It's also a lot of little holes. Let me know if there's any snakes or anything dangerous I should be watching out for. This one I'm not going to be able to release as smoothly. I might just have to... No, that's fine. I could do it right here. Wow, he was fast. Literally blinked and he's gone. <laughs> so uh, that's it for this video right now. Definitely recommend this rod. This is real. I definitely recommend replacing it but it's all around like a really really great setup i mean you know i've thrown a couple casts with it um i don't know how many maybe a good like 50 plus casts so far and it's been working well i mean i pulled a couple little fish i only usually set it up for um you know small like pan fish um surprisingly i've been catching bass with it which i did not expect whatsoever but that's all I've been catching here and it works. It's like perfect. It just pulls them out through the weeds. Um, six pound test line. You could easily upgrade to a better uh, small reel um, and maybe some braid. Uh, this is six pounds, so maybe like 10 pound, 12 pound braid. Uh, that might even be too much, but like this is perfect for basically anything. I'm actually going to be using this on my motorcycle i have a honda grom so it's like a little mini bike um and my chain popped off the other day so i it's out of commission for a little bit until i get it replaced or fixed um but this is going to be the rod i'm going to be carrying in my backpack because it's so small uh, i want to say like three three foot rod i think is what it is the the total length um and that's what i'll be carrying on my bike so i'll be going on some adventures to explore places like this because it's easier to get into places like this with a with a little bite. Please subscribe. I'm going to start posting more videos from now on. I've been gone forever. I don't even know what my channel's about anymore, to be honest with you guys. But if I keep going with it, I'm going to be doing a lot of fishing videos, for sure. So, definitely like and definitely subscribe. This is going to be pretty fun. Thank you guys for watching.